Suicide rates in the United States reached their record high in 2022, according to data from the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. 12 News' Tia McKenzie breaks down the numbers and available resources. Suicide is a serious public health issue in the United States. New data from the CDC shows 50,000 Americans died by suicide in 2022. All of us need to be involved in the response. According to the CDC, 480 Mississippians took their own lives in 2021. The purpose of 988 is to make it easier to reach out for support by making it an easier number to be able to re have people have a support before they reach a crisis state and also too to help with the overburdened emergency room um, admissions that we're currently managing right now and to also normalize reaching out for help. Brenda Patterson is the executive director of the 988 crisis line, a helpline with a mission to listen, counsel and provide resources and emotional support to those in need. The 24-7 call center serves 74 of 82 counties in the state. At 80% of the calls to 988 are managed within the call. And then it's that other 20% that we do a warm handoff to the regional mental health center mobile crisis team. Families as Allies is a local resource assisting youth and their families. Joy Hogue says there are warning signs to look for in someone you know is experiencing thoughts of suicide. Dramatic personality changes. You know, if the child's normally outgoing and they seem very withdrawn or even vice versa. Um, and then if the, if they're withdrawing from activities and not wanting to do things, if they seem more irritable than usual and it's lasting for a while, not just somebody having a bad day. Children and young adults 10 to 24 saw the largest decrease in suicide with a decline of 8.4%. In Jackson, Tia McKenzie, 12 News.